Last year, Bottega Veneta came out with two fragrances called Illusione. One was for him and one was for her. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on the men's version. I've been working off a couple of samples and I'm ready to give you my thoughts. Hey, how's it going YouTube? Raj here. Hope all of you out there are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Bottega Veneta, the Italian fashion brand, is not a brand that I've mentioned on my channel before. Well, that's strictly not true. I did actually do a first impressions of this fragrance, but I've never reviewed this is the first review from Bottega Veneta. Um, I've never owned any of their fragrances before. So yeah, this is a first for me. I quite like the bottle design here. I like what they've done here, incorporating a water droplet and trying to uh, give you the feeling that this is kind of a watery, fresh fragrance, which I think is kind of true in the scent profile, but not completely, and I will obviously go into details. But yeah, I quite like the bottle design here. It looks very cool, especially the smaller size. Going into the notes, uh, in the top notes, there's lemon and bitter orange. Going into the heart of this fragrance, there is balsam fir and white cedarwood. And going into the base notes, there is vetiver and tonka bean. Illusione for men is a fragrance that lasts on my skin um, for a decent amount of time. I wouldn't say it's a beast mode fragrance, but I don't think it, it performs poorly. I would say I'm getting around that five to six hour range, which for some people I get will be slightly on the lower side but that's the way it plays out on my skin. It doesn't really project too much off the skin. It does feel like a scent that is slightly more closer to the body, but when your body does warm up, I notice it does push off the skin uh, quite well, which to be honest can be said about a lot of fragrances. Illusione for me is a very casual fragrance. Um, I feel like, you know, it has a versatility in that regard. I also think it's a spring and summertime fragrance. That would be ideal, but you could wear this going into the autumn weather, going into slightly cooler weather. It is called For Him, but honestly, I see no reason why a woman couldn't pull this one off, even though they have their own version. So the fragrance opens up fresh and sweet, and I think that is actually a theme that runs throughout the fragrance. There is lemon there, and it's, um, I wouldn't say it's really, uh, the, I wouldn't say that the orange is very noticeable, I would say the lemon is the only one that I get, but it's very, very watery, and it is actually surrounded by what I would call a floral woodiness. So I think where that is coming from is a mixture of the tonka bean, and the um, nutty sweetness that you get from there, combining with the cedar wood, which is creating this effect uh, of a floral woody accord, a floral sandalwood, I would say. It comes across in more of a creamy floral sandalwood, to be honest. As the fragrance transitions, I get a honey-like sweetness from this fragrance. I also get a, a little bit of a bubblegum effect. I, you know, this is like a standard issue, isn't it, for men's designer releases. There has to be a bit of bubblegumness and there has to be a fresh shower gel accord in here, which is also in this fragrance. But both of those accords are toned down, well balanced, and just, you know, one part of the fragrance, which I really appreciate. As the fragrance dries down, I get a quite clean white musk laundry detergent, fresh linen uh, kind of vibe, which is nice, it's pleasant, but it's nothing spectacular. Um, and that pretty much rounds off the fragrance. So in summary, I think Illusione for men is a good fragrance. I think it's well made. It doesn't have the most longest lasting uh, performance. It doesn't have the X factor in terms of the scent, but I think it is solid. I think it's worth checking out, but I feel like a lot of people who would check this out might think it's a little bit boring. I did feel that that way, especially as the fragrance went on, but overall, sometimes you just need a fragrance that is kind of simple, kind of stripped back, kind of basic, to be honest. Nothing uh, too loud, and I do appreciate fragrances like that. I think a brand like Prada is one of those who's really nailed that uh, style of fragrance. But Bottega Veneta Illusione for men, I think, is a nice addition to that genre. And I'm going to give it a rating of 7 out of 10. 
Over to you guys, uh, what do you think about this fragrance? Have you tried it? What about Bottega Veneta as a fragrance brand? It's not one that I know too much about. Um, I think they also have a high-end luxury line, which I've tried a few from. I think it was them, <laughs> to be honest. I need to go back and revisit. Have you tried them? Whatever you have to say, guys, uh, drop a comment down below. If you do like this content, please do think about liking and subscribing. It really does help out the channel. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome on board. Thanks for your subscription. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.